Welcome back. The Prime Minister is in Gurugram today. He is there to inaugurate the Dwarka Expressway. In fact, he is uh, there to ensure that the travellers and commuters are bettered off. Now, the Prime Minister there is inaugurating the Haryana section. He's seeing a model there. That What you're seeing on your screens right now, he's seeing a model of the entire, uh, what I presume is the expressway, expressway and how exactly it would help uh, the commuter, how exactly will it help to enhance traffic flow and alleviate congestion between Delhi and Gurugram just along the National Highway 48. So this is a big project. It's a massive project. He's inaugurating uh, this landmark Dwarka Expressway, which is expected to improve traffic flow and definitely ease congestion between Delhi and Gurugram. This is National Highway 48. As you can see there, the Prime Minister waving out to all the people who have gathered to catch a glimpse of their Prime Minister. Uh, and he's not just only on the expressway, he's also going to be inaugurating and laying the foundation stone of more than 100 national highway projects spanned across the country and they're all worth 1 lakh crore rupees. This is an event that's happening at Gurugram. The Prime Minister waving out at the spectators gathered to uh, witness this event for the Prime Minister to inaugurate uh, this expressway. The Prime Minister is also accompanied by the Chief Minister, Manohar Lal Shetty. And according to the official statement, the Prime Minister, in fact, is... Uh, not just inaugurating the Haryana section of the landmark, but he's also going to be inaugurating and laying the foundation stones, rather, of several other national highway projects across the country. My colleague Arun joins us for more on this. Uh, Arun, we are just seeing the visuals of the Prime Minister greeting the spectators who have come to catch a glimpse of the Prime Minister and also the Prime Minister trying to understand the entire layout, the project, uh, this massive expressway that he will be inaugurating. So these are the visuals that we are playing for our viewers. But uh, just if you could give us more details uh, about what exactly is going to be the plan for today and uh, what really is on the Prime Minister's itinerary. Well, see, as, as, as we speak at this moment, Prime Minister Modi's cavalcade has arrived at uh, the Dwarka Expressway. You can see the vehicles in, uh, on your screens of Prime Minister Modi's cavalcade. And just uh, 50 meters away from where I'm standing, Prime Minister Modi will get down from his convoy and he's going to inaugurate, he's going to cut the ribbon of this eight-lane Dwarka Expressway. Remember, this is the first of its kind in India, uh, you know, uh, elevated uh, expressway, which uh, will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. A little while back, he was, uh, he was actually going through the project sample of this uh, entire stretch. Remember, it's a 29-kilometer long uh, expressway. Now, for the benefit of viewers, uh, it is only a 19-kilometer stretch in Gurugram, which will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi. But government has ensured that by 24-25, they will be completing the entire stretch of uh, 29 kilometers of this uh, elevated state-of-the-art expressway and uh, in fact we're given to understand that uh, the costing of this entire project uh, is somewhere around 9000 crore and this will give huge benefits you know regularly people who ply between uh, delhi to to gurugram or vice versa they they you know go through massive traffic congestions traffic jams on regular basis and therefore, once this uh, expressway is opened, it is going to reduce the uh, traffic time. It will give huge relief to the people. Let me quickly give you a small example that how it will reduce uh, the traffic time. From Manisar to Singhu border, now it takes uh, 1 hour 45 minutes. And once this is, uh, this is, this is started, only 45 minutes. You will, it will take you to, you know, uh, reach Singhu border from Manisar and also from Manisar to uh, Indira Gandhi International Airport. Uh, journey will be of 15 minutes only. And we have few people who've gathered here while we're speaking. Uh, well, let's go across to them. Aap kahan se hain? Buradi. Acha, kya Pradhan Mantri jabhi pohunche hain yaha par? Haanji. Kis tarah se dekhte hain is, uh, is uh, expressway se kitna fayda hoga logo ko? Or uh, is tarah ke jo projects hain kitna? मोदी सरकार आई है 2014 से जब से हमारे प्रधानमंत्री ने चारों तरफ दिल्ली के भी और और भी कहीं उत्तराखंड चले जाओ या हिमाचल चले जाओ कहीं भी एक्सप्रेसवे हुआ है और बहुत 
जनता को उससे फायदा होगा और इसलिए ही जनता उनकी प्रेमी है देखो आज उद्घाटन तक कितनी हजारों में लाखों में जनता आई है लाखों अच्छा महिलाएं भी आई हैं आप आप बताइए कहाँ से हैं आप बुलाड़ी से आए हैं क्या कहना चाहेंगे मोदी जी अभी निकले सामने से देखा आपने हाँ मोदी जी ने बहुत अच्छा काम करा है सिलेंडर दिया और बहुत महिला को अकाउंट खोला और सब कुछ अच्छा करा हम लोग चाहते है चार सौ पार और मोदी जी आएंगे चार सौ पार आप बताइए क्या कहाँ से आएंगे आप क्या कहना चाहते हम कहना चाहते हैं जी हम मोदी प्रेमी हैं मोदी भक्त हैं और मोदी जी ने हमारे लिए जो किया वो और सबके लिए नामुमकिन था मोदी अच्छा, के लिए गुड़गांव और दिल्ली के उसमें हमेशा बड़ा ट्रैफिक रहता है डेढ़ दो घंटे तीन घंटे लोगों को लग जाते हैं अब इस रोड से कितना आप लोग फायदा देखते हैं सर देखिए जो ट्रैफिक की या जाम की जो दिक्कत थी वो सारी खत्म होने वाली है नॉट इवन हेयर ऑल ओवर इंडिया इफ वी सी द डेवलपमेंट विच इज डन बाय मोदी गवर्नमेंट दैट वॉज नेवर डन बाय एनी गवर्नमेंट ठीक है ना तो आज के समय में जो मोदी गवर्नमेंट ने काम किया है वो आप उसका नजारा यहाँ देख सकते हैं हजारों लाखों लोग अगर उनसे मिलने आए हैं उसका कारण एक है कि सब मोदी जी से प्यार करते हैं और सबका एक ही नारा है अब की बार चार सौ तो आप कहाँ से हैं मैडम मैं जिला चांदनी चौक से और सिर्फ मैं इतना कहना चाहूंगी अरुण गगन पर महाप्रगति का अब ये मंगल गान हुआ अंगड़ा एली सोया हिंदुस्तान का मोदी युग हमने जन्म लिया हम सौभाग्यशाली है भारत भूमि में जन्म लेना तो एक सौभाग्य है ही लेकिन भारत भूमि के मोदी काल में जन्म लेना पर हमें इतना ज्यादा फॉर्चुनेट फील होता है क्योंकि ब्रिटिशर्स भी अब कह रहे हैं कि आफ्टर 2014 इंडिया फाइनली गॉट इट्स फ्रीडम बेसिकली मैं यही कहना चाहूंगी चाहे वो इकोनॉमी को फिफ्थ नंबर पर लाने की बात हो या राम मंदिर बनवाने की बात हो या काशी कॉरिडोर बनवाने की बात हो या उज्जैन कॉरिडोर बनवाने की बात हो या उभरते हुए भारत का प्रतीक नया संसद भवन देखिए सभी ये कह रहे मोदी जी है तो मोदी है भाई दो लाइन में सो दीज दो लाइन सर Okay, as you can see, enthusiastic people there uh, with their priorities very clear. Uh, the focus not really being on the eight-lane Dwarka Expressway that has been constructed at a whopping cost of approximately four thousand crore rupees, but uh, on the upcoming election, saying that uh, the Prime Minister has uh, their support. But the Prime Minister today uh, in Gurugram to inaugurate this massive, big eight-lane expressway, which is meant to ease the congestion of traffic, to help the commuter and uh, all of. the people who are present there chanting pro modi slogans and uh, also thanking him for this big developmental project that he is there and not just that he's also be uh, he's also going to be laying the foundation stone for more than 100 other developmental projects which the prime minister has been doing in fact he's been going from one uh, state to the other state and inaugurating uh, several developmental projects and this is another big one a huge mammoth one uh, that the prime minister is going to be inaugurating a short time uh, from now so it's a 19 km haryana portion of the eight lane dwarka expressway and it consists of two sections uh, what uh, we do know of the prime minister is, if you can see on the right hand side of the screens taking the time to understand uh, the layout to understand the entire model to understand the benefits that this expressway uh, would have on the commuter uh, there's a whole program that has been put together uh, for a proper explanation then nitin gadkari there if i'm not mistaken is also along with the prime minister the chief minister manohar lal khattar also accompanying the prime minister for the inauguration of the eight lane dwarka expressway estimated to be built at a whopping cost of uh, 4000 crore rupees okay so these are the visuals that uh, we are playing out for our viewers okay my colleague arun is back with us arun i couldn't help but notice the excitement uh, in the people just behind you all of them focused on the upcoming elections and no one really talking about the benefits of this huge project that has been put together but uh, tell us a little bit more about the eight lane dwarka expressway how exactly it's uh, going to benefit the commuter because it traffic easing of traffic congestion is certainly music to the ears for anyone who would be commuting on this route Well, see, this this will give huge relief 
to the people of uh, uh, Delhi NCR. And uh, we we have been hearing stories for, of traffic jam from uh, Delhi to Gurgaon or vice versa every day. And once this is operational, as we are told that uh, this will reduce uh, the 50% traffic congestion on NH48. So NH48 is the route which we uh, usually take if we come from uh, Delhi to, towards Gurugram. And now, as we speak, in fact, we are seeing that a uh, huge crowd is coming from that side. Perhaps uh, Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated uh, this uh, section of, of, uh, of Dwarka Expressway because uh, now he will have to head for, uh, for Gurugram where he will be participating in that, uh, in that rally as well where, where people are also waiting for Prime Minister Modi. Uh, remember that it's a 19-kilometer stretch, Gurugram stretch, which Prime Minister Modi uh, just inaugurated. Uh, another 10-kilometer will be of course uh, completed as government says uh, by by the end of 2024 20, uh, or uh, 2025 and uh, the approximate cost of the route is uh, is somewhere around uh, 9000 crore the entire stretch of 29 kilometers and uh, as prime minister modi and government ha have been speaking about the infrastructural focus of this government whether it is uh, construction of roads railways metros uh, you know hydro projects all have been at uh, at uh, at the forefront of this uh, this government and uh, through this road of course uh, there will be multiple benefits uh, not only relief uh, in the traffic congestion but also it will uh, improve the trade the interstate trade that will also be improved of course uh, people will uh, get uh, get jobs due to uh, different works you know there, there, there will be different projects which will come up uh, you know uh, by by the completion of this entire uh, dwarka expressway project and also remember this is uh, the the one of its kind project in india it's it's a complete elevated yes. uh, urban expressway which has been completed it's a state of the art uh, art uh, art uh, art expressway the technology which has been used in this exp expressway it is also very new and also of course uh, we are given to understand that prime minister modi uh, will also be meeting few uh, few people few workers who have uh, played a key role in the building and the construction of uh, this uh, eight-lane elevated Dwarka Expressway. In fact, that's a very pertinent point, Arun, that you just raised amid talks of uh, new alliances and uh, seats being given to candidates ahead of the general elections. Uh, something that I've noticed is that infrastructure and development projects have been a dominant and the most important theme that the Prime Minister has been speaking about in all of his speeches as he visits different states. Well, that's right. You know, Prime Minister Modi has been speaking about the all-over development of the country. And when you talk about all-over development, it is uh, not only, of course, uh, uh, the, 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 the infrastructural development which is happening on one hand, but also, of course, you have to understand the basic needs of uh, the people. And therefore, we are see, seeing the schemes like uh, Ujwala, you know, and also, of course, uh, the Kisan Samman Nidhi. There are various other projects which government has undertaken, and therefore, uh, in totality we can say that uh, when you have uh, when you have plans or uh, you know uh, schemes for uh, every uh, everything in which is happening in the country i think that is the parameter where you can say that uh, the 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 vikas the viksit bharat which government is planning is going on a right path and in fact uh, we have few people here as well who are, who are coming back from that program we'll speak to them haji kahan se aaye हम मोदी जी के और जो ये सड़क निर्माण करवाए द्वारका एक्सप्रेस में बनवाए उसके उस घाटन में आए थे और मोदी जी हैं तो मुमकिन है आज मोदी जी हैं भारत का गौरव हैं मोदी जी ने जो किया उसको कल्पना से परे है दिव्य पुरुष हैं मोदी जी और मोदी जी आज दुनिया उनके आगे नस्मस्तक है और मोदी जी जो भारत को विकास की ओर ले जा रहे हैं अच्छा चुनाव चुनाव का दौर भी लोकसभा के चुनाव आने वाले हैं उस समय पे बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स हम लोग देख रहे हैं कितना फायदा इस तरह के प्रोजेक्ट्स आप देख देखते हैं लोगों को होगा और देश को कितना फायदा देश को और लोगों को सारा ही फायदा हो रहा है देखो अभी यूपी से लेके पूरे हिंदुस्तान में ऐसा प्रधानमंत्री ना कभी आया है ना कभी आएगा ये तो हम लोग ही खुश ये तो हमारी खुश नसीबी है कोई भेदभाव नहीं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई आपस में है सब भाई भाई और सबको सबका साथ सबका विकास और मैं ये कहना चाहता हूँ आने वाले दो तक नरेंद्र मोदी जी ही रहने चाहिए और जैसा ना कोई प्रधान और वोट और सपोर्ट चार सौ पार कैसे होगा 
चार सौ पार हो चुका है सर कैसे हो चुका है हो चुका है मोदी जी के काम की वजह से चार सौ पार हो चुका है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल ये तो आप एक क्राइटेरिया लेके चल रहे चार सौ का देखिए मैं एक चीज कहना चाहता हूँ एक चीज कहना चाहता हूँ आपके चैनल के माध्यम से आज ये जो एक्सप्रेस वे बना है ये ये जो एक्सप्रेस वे बना है इसमें कोई पर्टिकुलर एक समुदाय की गाड़ी नहीं जाएगी सब तरह की जाएगी इसलिए हमारे नेता जी कहते हैं इसलिए हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी कहते हैं सबका साथ सबका विकास सबका विश्वास सबका भरोसा सबका चाहिए सबका विकास सबका साथ सबका विकास इज द नारा विच दीज पीपल आर गिविंग हेयर नाउ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज लेफ्ट द वेन्यू From uh, Dwarka Expressway, we are told that these people are also, of course, uh, going back. They've been waiting for Prime Minister Modi here uh, uh, for almost uh, three right. hours, and now once the program is done, they right. are heading back to their homes. All right, and we'll keep coming back to you, Arun, for more updates uh, when the Prime Minister does arrive and inaugurates the Dwarka Expressway. Thanks so much for joining us. Slipping into a short break right here. News and updates continue on the other side as well.